Hey, why aren't you guys outside? It's nice out. What's that? Why aren't you guys outside? It's nice out here. Hello? Why aren't you guys outside? It's nice out. Oh, we're gonna go check Ramcoda. Oh, you're gonna check check the casino. Yeah, uh, we might come out after we're done. Cool, cool. All right. Are you why are you out there? Oh yeah, I'm enjoying my new uh my new seat out here. Oh, uh, uh, I'm gonna let you go, honey, because I'll be outside in a minute. Okay, love you, Grandma. Talk to you later. Love you too. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm streaming. Ha. Ah. Um, let's get something started for download. Uh, let's do some Grand Theft Auto. We'll play some Grand Theft Auto in about an hour. I think you're crazy. I am a bear. I like it. Well, I would like it if I had my winter coat on, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the way to go. Look at this. I'm sitting on a nice, comfy thing. Enjoying the weather. Yeah, it looks just like yours. I know. You like it? It's, yeah, it's a good... Move it when it's got to be mowed and stuff. I know. All right, then. Well, we'll be back. All right. See you later. Yeah. I'm fi I figure I'm going to enjoy my vacation. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Which it looked like opened up pretty good. It's not bad. Well, if you want to keep that cover, just take it in the house. That's what I'll do. That's what I have to do. Yeah. It's a nice pad for outside, huh? Yeah. I think we'll throw on some cam. Yeah, you're not going to get much for a cam. <laughs> uh, let's see if anybody's on stream. There's a stream, then I, I won't give somebody a call. Nope, there's nobody watching the stream right now, so uh, we're good. I will swap uh, the, the name thing out. We'll call it... Um, what are we going to be playing? The Monster Inside. There we go. Updated. I set up a futon outside. A futon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now I'm now when I sit outside and enjoy, I'm gonna be sitting on a futon. Until it rains on it and gets all wet. You think I'm gonna leave the fabric out? No, when it when it, the weather gets bad it'll be in the uh, the mattress will be inside. Yeah. Yeah, so now I get now I get to chill outside and sit on a futon. <laughs> <laughs> Start a fire. I might. I'm yeah. off tomorrow, so might have one tonight. Yeah. 
you'd come over if I have one tonight? Yeah. All right, I probably will then. I'm sure Brandon won't come over. I don't know. Yeah, he probably won't. Unless he's all set and sick now, who knows? <laughs> he might be. <laughs> have you talked to him lately? No. Probably sick with that COVID like what she's got. Well, I'll uh, talk to you later. Did you end up uh, going to the great place? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Is that where you got that one thing? Yeah. Did you get anything else while you were there? I got a mechanics mirror. You did? Yeah. How much do those normally cost? Mechanics mirror, like twenty dollars. And you got it for what five? Yeah. Yeah. See, you get some good deals there. <laughs> you just gotta look really close. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's always something to do to check it out. They had all sorts of stuff. Did they? Yeah. Diapers and all that. Oh, God. <laughs> really sure you Grant? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'll give you a call later and let you know if, uh, if I decide to end up doing it. Okay. All right. Later, Justin. Later. Okay, her name was Lily. Alright, alright. She told me she was his mitch mistress. The man all over the newspaper, the infamous banker, Mr. Reginald Barnesworth. Okay. Sounds like a big banker. Sounds like one. Mr. Farnsworth was a drunk, philandering bastard. This girl seemed genuinely concerned that he had recently gone missing. Interesting scenarios. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. Farnsworth's wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. You didn't understand. He just couldn't have done it. He hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it was him, and no one believes me. He's gotta be in trouble. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Well, Mr. Um, Jack, you can just call me Jack. Jack, whoever did that to his wife must have been the one who took him. He would have never left without me. He promised me. I'm sure Mr. Farnsworth promised this poor girl a lot of things. Please, the cops won't listen to me. And they want to bring him in on the charges. You gotta prove it wasn't him before they find him. Sure. Honestly, I doubt they are in too much of a hurry. Farnsworth had practically the entire police force in his deep pockets. Probably why they haven't found much yet. If they find him and bring him in, it would be due to public pressure. Sometimes a mob is more dangerous than one with money. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry now. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jack. Thank you, but please be careful. I don't think this was just any murder or kidnapper. I think it... I think it was a... A beast. Beast? The word struck me funny. Like when you jar your elbow on a hard corner. Not a word many use these days except in hushed whispers and bedtime stories for children. Oh, they were real enough, all right. But they just got better at hiding, controlling their unseemly urges. 
I haven't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years. Back when I was still caught myself. Same thing. And you seem like the kind of man who's good at solving mysteries. Sure. Can't you see how busy I am with cases? I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm wasn't my strong suit. I reassured her some more and sent her on her way. I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left her doors locked and called me if she saw anything suspicious. I didn't know if she was any, in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. That night, I made my way down to Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops had missed. We're going to take a couple second break and make sure that we're live. Make sure that I can hear the stream clearly, and then we'll continue. Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops had missed. There we go. I got chat lined up. Next chapter. The scene was already picked clean by the cops days ago. They've got a knack for finding the things others overlook. A knack. More of a symptom of a condition, other less useful symptoms I kept in check. But for the time being, a sense of smell would come in handy. It's faint, but I could smell it before I even approached the police line. The scent was less of a thing and more of an emotion. Seduction. Strangely familiar smell. I expected the scent of trepidation, or maybe even outright fear, but Miss Farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of pleasure when she left this world. <laughs> Brought new meaning to a crime of passion. There you go. Pushing the thought from my mind, it was time to get down to business. Investigate the scene. Muddy footprints everywhere. Difficult to pick out anything from the prints the cops left behind in their haste. Cops don't wear 2,000 pairs of carquinos. It looked like Mr. Farnsworth was there that night and walked away on his own two feet. Investigate the scene. I'm investigating... A burn mark on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my finger along the, its length and felt a chill down my spine. This wasn't just any burn mark. This was the mark of an ancient magic. It's doubtful the cops would have picked up on it. Could Lily be right? Something unnatural definitely was at play here. But I was no stranger to the strange. After looking around for a while, I realized the park had given up all it was hiding from me. So I trudged back to my apartment. My head hit the pillow like it owed me money. The next morning, I was reeling from another bout of ghoulish nightmares. But I tried to hide my discomfort when I saw Lily was already sitting outside my office. She waited wordlessly. As I unlocked the door and ripped down another notice from the mayor's office, I motioned for her to step inside. 
Seemingly afraid of what I might say, she finally worked up the courage to ask. So, what did you find? I probably shouldn't have given her false hope like that, but she seemed like she needed it. Something to hold on to right then. She didn't need to know about the mark on the tree. How do you know that? Where is he? My tone was indifferent towards her as I turned and grabbed a bottle from my desk drawer. A dryness in my throat made it difficult to swallow my meds. But you don't know where he went? Do you think the news this morning is related? What news is that? Haven't you heard? Nope, rough night, rough morning. They found the police chief's wife dead down by the docks. They say it happened last night. My face might have betrayed a hint of satisfaction as she confirmed my suspicious things. But it faded quickly. Amato was a shit cop and a shit chief. He was half the reason I left the force. But now his wife was dead and I had more questions than I did the day before. <laughs> God damn it. Another crime scene to look at, probably. The gears in my head started to spin which wasn't helped by the splitting pain in my temples. I told Lily I needed time to work, and she left lightly dejected, wanting more answers than I could provide. That night, after the cops had cleared out of the docks, I would slip down and see what I could uncover concerning Miss Amato's untimely demise. Cold air smelled strongly of salt and oil and... Could it be? That smell again! Like someone had bottled pure aerosol and used it as perfume! Oh, it was arousal, sorry. It hit me like a long-forgotten memory, but the sensual fumes soon gave way to a rush of adrenaline. I knew exactly what the scent reminded me of, and that scared me more than not knowing. I looked down at my hands, shaking. The nightmares. The headaches. No. I was better now. Reformed. I had to focus. No jumping to conclusions. Followed the evidence. Uh, investigate another crime scene. Red Phoenix cigarettes. Same shitty brain I smoke every day. Everyone's got their vice. There. Just there. The smallest piece of purple fabric. Torn caught in the splinter of a board. The police report didn't say anything about Miss Amato wearing purple. It was certainly of a high quality that you wouldn't expect down here. Don't see too many high society types around flaunting royal purple threads. He pulled out my own pack of reds, lit up. I could already feel another headache coming up, but looking out over the waves seemed to help me forget. Cold helped me push down the uncomfortable thoughts that had been bubbling to the top of my brain. I honestly don't remember the walk back to the office. I apparently spent the night in my easy chair. The air from the docks lingered on my clothes. Still dark out. No. I checked the clock. How long had I been out? Had I really slept the entire day? The newspaper was sitting under the door as I stood to fetch it. I nearly went over. A wave of nausea hit me like a ton of bricks. I steadied myself and regained my composure before I even picked up the paper. I could already read the headline. Breaking news. Mayor missing. Wife found dead. Oh, come on! Two cases is a coincidence. Three is a pattern. The cops would come asking questions soon. They knew I had a history of antagonizing all the victims. 
I stumbled to my desk and slammed back three days worth of inhibitor pills. I couldn't take any chances. I had to investigate the scene to be sure. I threw on my jacket, went to the door. Lily caught me off guard on the other side. Why? <laughs> she was outside the office the other day. Jack, where are you off to? I've been trying to reach you all day. Okay, we need to talk when you get back. Stay safe. She gave me a soft kiss on the cheek as I rushed off. Part of me wanted to stay and tell her it would be okay, but it would be a lie. The alley was located just behind the high-rise apartments where Mayor Benetti and his wife lived. I could tell the police were spooked now. The crime scene was even sloppier than the last. They hadn't even bothered to submit the trash into evidence. Vinetti's car. If he's still alive, why wouldn't he have left it in his car? It didn't make any sense. I honestly wasn't too motivated to find him. But the stakes were too high. My bet was edging toward the unthinkable. Why wouldn't they at least look through the dumpster? It seemed untouched. No one wants to do the dirty work. But I know how to find the good stuff. It really doesn't take long if you know what to look for. Lightweight bags usually mean someone was dumping documents. If you were lucky, they didn't bother to shred them. Jackpot. Shell companies. Shady stock trades. Bribes. I knew Mayor, Mayor Vinetti was crooked, but this was unbelievable. There was more letters between Mayor Vanetti and Chief Motto talking about me. How they were trying to get me shut down. They didn't like me snooping around crime scenes all the time. Well, they weren't here to stop me snooping around this one. Making me sound suspicious. Ooh. As I searched around for anything that might assuage my fears, I caught the scent again. It overwhelmed my other senses with undulating pleasure. It was intoxicating. A weapon used on the weak willed weapon I knew all too well, although it had been many years since I had used it. Was there another like me? Was I being framed? It wasn't possible, was it? I was taking my inhibition. I was taking my in inhibitors. I was reformed. The nightmares, the headaches, the memory lapses. I couldn't even trust myself. I started walking back out the alley when something shiny caught my eye. A watch. Not just any watch, though. My watch. How long had my wrist been bare? Surely I just dropped it when I first came down the alley. Checked the time just before I left the office, hadn't I? Or had I used the wall clock? I couldn't be sure. I couldn't be sure of anything. So I ran. I don't know why I ran back to the office. The cops wouldn't, would probably show up any minute to knock the door down and cart me away. They would put it together before long. Maybe it would be best for everyone if I simply faced my own reflection. But Lily was still there waiting for me. Jack, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm not making any sense, Jack. Come sit down. I took a good last look at her. As I prepared to shove her out the door, I noticed she was wearing the same thing she had when she first came to my office three days ago. A beautiful purple dress. It's Lily. Odd that I hadn't noticed before, but it made her seem out of place. Out of time. It's Lily. Lily did it. I got it.
I figured it out. It's been Lily. And it was frayed around the edges, torn in places. My chair caught my fall as my knees failed me. It was you! You are the monster succubus! Oh, Jack. We are one and the same, you and I. We are both monsters. I'm simply more honest with myself. There's no such thing as reformation. Those pills you take only make you dull. Beasts like us should never suppress our true natures as you have, Incubus. Those men were probably dead too now. I figured she probably took them to her lair and harvest their seed. So you've done all this just to wake me up? You could say that. Though it seemed enough just to have you doubt yourself. You believed you were still capable of such horrors, which means deep down you probably are. You can't escape it. Now I need you to complete the deed. You took my watch. You messed with my head. You don't act like I didn't do you a favor. Those men hated you and wanted you gone. And now, they are gone. I mustered the strength to stand again, moving casually to the window by the corner. She was right about one thing. I was dull, weak compared to her. If I refused her and she attacked me, I was a dead man. I had to keep her talking. I've never met a succubus who seduces and kills women. Oh, please. Such a 14th century stereotype. I don't discriminate when it comes to pleasures of the flesh. But I do still need an incubus like yourself to take this tainted seed I've harvested from those awful men and plant it among the fertile masses for me. I'm tired of draining my lovers just to survive. I'm ready to settle down and start a family. <laughs> that maniacal laughter. Positioned myself carefully, making sure she was looking my direction. Sorry, but I'm not your guy. With a quick flick of my wrist, I whipped the old sheet bed off the bed of the corner mirror. She was blinded by her own reflection and sucked into the mirror with a painful, monstrous scream, trapped. Shielding my own eyes, I pulled the revolver from my desk side drawer aimed at the mirror and fired. And there we go, everybody! Oh my god! That was good. That was good. Hi, how you doing? What? Hi, buddy. <laughs> 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 Get a jack and I'll start the stream again.
streaming alt f4 here we go we have played the monster inside this stream and start up another one how much longer do I get for uh, Grand Theft Auto is, will be ready in 15 minutes we've played the monster inside zombie defense click your heroes adventure capitalist unturned hasn't really worked very well for me otherwise we would be playing that too Um, what other game did I have downloaded right now? Yeah, GTA says it'll be ready pretty soon, so we did a half hour on that. Heart the video. Comment and follow, and we'll see you in the next one, which will be in like less than an hour. Bye, everybody.